artist or her paint party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We're going to do one of my favorite book characters, the Rainbow Fish. Are you familiar with the Rainbow Fish? So cute. Okay, so I have one of my own copies from 20 years of teaching uh, kids, and I always incorporated the Rainbow Fish art into our projects with the book. So the book is written by Mike Fister. And I also went to the library and got several different versions. They have little baby rainbow fish books. Look at that. This is all about colors. This one is about counting. And then here's just another version, but from the library of the rainbow fish. So you guys, we're going to draw this out step by step. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser in case you make a mistake. I'm going to draw with black marker just so you can see it better on the screen. And um, something to color with. Anything you have, crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever it is that you have, you can use. I want to inspire you first with a little bit of book reading. So isn't that beautiful, the silver? Right? What could we use later? Think about it. What could we use later to add silver to our rainbow fish? Hmm. I heard you say a gray crayon. Someone said a gray crayon. What about a silver? Do you have a silver crayon? You could use a silver crayon. Or I have some, another idea too. We'll we'll talk about it later. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. And then look at the water. There's a snail down there and some rocks, some seagrass. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come on and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please forgive me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. <gasps> Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I am really beautiful. Or no, I really am beautiful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she could help you. Okay. 
the rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Did I scare you guys? Don't get scared. It's a book. Just, just teasing me. <laughs> Ooh, I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. What do you think? You think the rainbow fish is going to listen? Or is the rainbow fish going to keep all the beautiful scales for himself? What would you do? Would you keep all your scales or would you give them away? I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Hmm, just one, huh? Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue little ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before every, before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Aww. Does it make you feel good when you do something for someone or if you give someone something or if you help someone with something, right? It, it makes me feel good. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said rainbow fish. Happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And then the last page is a little rainbow fish who wants to make a rainbow fish. All right. So let's get going and we will read the rainbow fish colors in a minute. But I, again, I'm going to draw with black marker. I want you guys to draw with pencil. So have a pencil, have an eraser. Okay. I have a pencil here too, but if I sketched it out with pencil, it would be so light. So that's why I'm going to use a black marker and I'm going to start. So my paper is vertical or portrait just because the fins tend to be kind of big. So you can turn it anyway, but I would recommend you have it up and down like this. That's vertical portrait style. I'm going to start with almost like a rainbow line. Watch this like an arch. So it's going to be like a, a rainbow line like this. Is it perfect? No. Just do your best. So kind of like a rainbow line, right? Then I'm going to go up and over and down, down, down and around. This is the tail. Up, up, up. Slight diagonal. 
we can keep going around so this is almost like the upside down rainbow right that's the bottom of the fish and here's some of his fins line out and back line out and back line out and back now yours is gonna look like yours. It's not gonna look like mine. Look, I made a mistake. It went inside the fish. That's okay. If I had a pencil, I would erase it, but I'm gonna color over it and no one's gonna see my mistakes. So shh, don't tell anybody. It doesn't really matter anyways, but I don't even tell. I wouldn't even have told you I made a mistake, but I want you to know I make mistakes too and I keep going. All right, so now I'm gonna put those cute rainbow fish lips with the line like this and the bottom lip like this. And an eyeball is a circle. Okay, is it a perfect circle? No. If you guys have something you want to trace, go ahead. I'm just freehanding it. Sometimes if I had change around, I could use a dime or a quarter. It depends on the size circle I need. I always have nickels, pennies, dimes, quarters for circles. So when we add the bubbles later, if you happen to have change, you can make different size um, circles with different size change, right? But if not, you could draw it freehand like I'm drawing mine freehand. Okay, so here I'm going to do, watch this, a line like that, a line like that, a line like that. These are like little baby rainbow lines. So those are little arched lines, right? Let's do that over here at the end of the little baby arch lines. My marker's running out of juice. All right, so I'm going to put some... Just some squiggly detail lines in my tail here. The squiggly little lines that he has, right? And he has a big fin up here. And then I'm gonna put some wiggly lines in there just for a fun detail, right? And I'm going to put these arch lines to make the, the scales. Watch that. They kind of remind me of sideways U. U, 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 right? If you turn it, it looks like a sideways. It looks like a U. So think of a sideways U. U, 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 U. You, you just overlap them and make them go right off the edge of the page. You, 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 you. And now my rainbow fish is full of little scales and you can fit as many as you want, right? So the bubbles I was talking about, again, I'm going to draw them freehand, but if you have something that's circle that you want to trace, just don't make them too big. They're little, they're little bubbles. They could be the same size. They could be different size sizes. You could put a little highlight on there if you want to, to make it look like lights reflecting on it. Or you could just leave it. Those look almost like little squares or little rectangles. Give our little fin down here a wiggly little line. And you guys saw all this stuff in the book. If you want to add a snail, if you want to add other fish, if you want to put... Uh, the octopus in there because I know you love the octopus. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a vertical line going up. This is going to be my seagrass vertical line. And that's just gra the grass at the bottom. Right. If you want, you don't even have to. So there's some seagrass and you can put in as much as you want to. And then again, fix your artwork. So you like it. And then when you like it, you get to color it. So if you guys want to use crayons, you can use a little box of eight crayons is just fine or a bigger box, or if you guys have markers. So um, again, look at the different blues and lavenders and silver. So you know what we're going to use for silver. Do you guys happen to have this in your house or your school? You know what this is? This is aluminum foil. This is great to make fins with. So we're going to save this for later. But if you have some, go get it and then scissors to cut it. And if you don't have scissors, you can rip it. And then maybe a glue stick or a bottle of glue to glue it on. But we want to color it before we do that. 
Okay. When you combine supplies like this is called mixed media or mixed mediums because the media are your supplies. So I'm just going to show you with a crayon. I could color in with a crayon. Right. Take your time. But the fins next to it or the scales next to it, you want it to be a different shade. You don't want to do them all blue. So maybe I do, that one was called, what is that called? Cerulean blue. And maybe I have, let's see this purple. I could do a purple over here. Does that look purple? Yeah. And you could even do your favorite colors. There's a purple. And I'll put a, since I have the purple, I'll do a purple back here too. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to color yours like mine. You can color it like you want to. So I'm just kind of skipping around. Because remember, I don't want two colors next to each other. I need to find a lighter blue. Do I have a lighter blue? Hmm, let's experiment. I don't know what blue this is. That's actually a darker blue. I bet you it looks kind of black. That's a darker blue. But that's okay. I like it. That's just called indigo. But your, might, your crayons might have different names. And you know he has bright pink in there, right? Now, oh, you know what else? I wonder if I got them out. Do you guys have highlighters? I love coloring with highlighters. Oh, here they are. Highlighters are always fun because they're super bright. So if you want to use a highlighter, you can use a highlighter too. Or again, if you have markers, here I have a hot pink here. So I could do some of my scales and marker if I wanted to. There's the hot pink. I want to, oh, let me see if I have a brighter one. How about right here? That's a little bit brighter. So again, you could be using colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever it is that you have. And I would do whatever colors you want to. You can make it your own fish, right? You could do it every color in the rainbow. I, again, I'm going to try to make mine look more like the rainbow fish. That scale's pretty light. I'll do this one light too. Now that's upper scale, look at that. It's got like light blue and some purple in it. So I'm gonna kind of outline it with light blue. Maybe even put some light blue in those squiggles. And then I can color the rest of it like a purple. I don't really have a light purple. Let's see if this is too dark. What do you guys think? Is that too dark? Should I try a crayon? Let's try a purple crayon. So I have purple crayon, purple marker. I'm just showing you the different ways you could do it. So I like the crayon better than the marker because I think the marker is kind of dark. But again, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you want. So I know he's got some purple in his tail. So while I have it here, I'm going to color some purple in over here in his tail. And again, yours can look however you want it to. And then... Again, I don't have a great light blue. You know, I don't have, you guys probably have it. I don't have a great light blue crayon. This one is the Cerulean again. I need one of those big boxes of crayons that have all those different colors. Ooh, I wonder if I have one of my color pencils. Let's see. I have a big thing of color pencils. Look at all these colors. 
So let's see. Again, you guys could be using any of these things or all of them. Ooh, I do have a light blue. This might be better. Let's see. Let's experiment. I love experimenting with art. That kind of looks like the crayon, doesn't it? Another thing you could do is color lighter in some areas and then color darker. Here, let's do it dark. See, it's the same color pencil, but I'm pressing harder. So because I'm pressing harder, it's coming out darker. But it's starting to look like the rainbow fish, isn't it? Let's see. Let's make this face light blue. Let's try this one. Again, use what you have. Let's color this. That's a pretty good blue. I can even put some of it in here. And you know why I'm coloring all these scales? Because I know you were wondering. You like leave some white for the silver, but the reason why I'm going to color all of them is because if I don't match that silver up exactly and it doesn't fill up the whole space, then it's okay because the color from the background will show up. I'll show you in a minute. I want my other fin to match the front one. So these right here. What color is lips? Do you know that color? Yellow, yellow lips. Use whatever you have, crayon, marker, color pencil. The center of his eye is black. So it's a black circle. It's starting to look like rainbow fish, isn't it? Good, I'm glad. Let's try, hmm. A good purple crayon. Let's find some more purple crayons. There's my purple. And I don't want my purple. I need a different color to blend in here. So there's a darker blue. And what could I do right there? Hmm. How about this? The green seaweed. Your seaweed could be a different color. And again, you could add baby fish. You could add seashells. The starfish. And you don't have to keep up with me. So you guys, I create every single day, right? And the more I do it, the better I get at it. So art is like anything else. Art's like reading and writing and math. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. So keep creating. All right, and while you guys are catching up with me, I'm gonna read another book. So this one is the Rainbow Fish Colors book, again, from the library. Don't get your library. Sometimes I accidentally get them dirty and I have to clean them up. So red starfish. Maybe you can add a red starfish. A blue whale. Do you want to put a blue whale in your artwork? So you guys, red and blue are primary colors along with yellow. The lip color. Red, yellow, blue, primary colors. Orange seahorse, who can make a seahorse? Can you make a seahorse? So orange is a secondary color. You mix red and yellow together and you're gonna get orange. Purple octopus. Purple is a secondary color, so it takes two primaries, red and blue. I heard you say it, or you were thinking it, right? Red and blue make purple. 
yellow fish, a primary color. You can make a yellow fish in your artwork. Green seaweed. Green seaweed is a secondary color. Green is a secondary color. Yellow and blue make green. Gray dolphin. Could you put a gray dolphin in your artwork? Of course you can, because it's your artwork. White jellyfish. Have you ever seen a jellyfish? They're almost transparent if you see them on the beach, like not alive anymore. They, they kind of look like jelly, don't they? Black seal. Could you put a black seal on your artwork? Of course you can. How about a brown snail? That's a really cool shell. I collect seashells. I love seashells. They're so pretty. One time I picked up a seashell. I didn't know it. And I took it back and it, it was alive and a snail came, poked its head out of it. And I screamed. I thought it was just an empty shell. But no, it was someone's home. He was living in there. I took his home, so, but he's okay. I put him back in the water after I screamed. I, I got it back in the water. So after you guys are done, we should do the background, right? The color of water. So I would color around my bubbles. Let's see a good blue. I don't know if this is going to be too dark. Maybe I should, let me see. I'm going to outline this because I still want to do our foil. Oh, that's a good blue. Your water could be any color you want, or you could even leave it white. But I want my bubbles to stand out. Right, so I could color my background. See, so I'm coloring around my bubbles, around the yellow lips. And maybe I use a lighter blue for the rest of it. It doesn't have to be all the same blue, right? And maybe you have something else you want to put on here for a collage. Maybe you have things you collect. Do you collect seashells? You could glue seashells on. If you have sequins or buttons, you know, think of different ways you could decorate it. Again, I'm going to use um, my aluminum foil. I'm going to do that in a minute. Let me get my water done. And again, you could be coloring this in with crayons, or you could just leave it white if you want to. Just do your best. That's all anybody ever asks of you is to do your best. I'm sure glad that Rainbow Fish was nice and started sharing. And it made him feel good, and it made all the other fish feel good. And then they were all playing so nicely together. And then I'm going to color in between my, my grass with the blue water. Is it okay if I leave some spaces white? Sure. It could be like the reflection from the sun in the water. Or you can color it solid white. All right, there's my water. Okay, now let's do the foil. And you could do it when you're ready. You don't have to be done with your water yet. 
So what I'm going to do is, remember those little U's we were doing before? So watch this. I'm going to cut it out like a little U. Well, kind of like a rainbow line. U. It almost looks like a fingernail, you guys. Look at this. It's a, it's a silver fingernail. Can you see it? I wonder what it would look like on my fingernail. Do, 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 do. There, there's my new fingernail. You like it? Okay. So see how it's metallic? Kind of like the rainbow fish, right? So does it fit exactly? No. Does it have to? No. So you could always cut it smaller. And again, you can have some of the color from the scale show in the background. So I'm going to put one. He has one right there next to the pink one. So I'm going to put a little, you can use liquid glue. I'm going to use glue stick. And I'm going to glue it right there. Maybe I cut a little arch. See the, look at this. So I cut a little baby rainbow line there. If you want, you don't have to. And again, I'm going to put it right there. And now my rainbow fish has a little shiny scale. All right, let's give them a few more, right? We should give them a few more. You could give them as many as you want to. It depends on how much time you have and if you have any foil. And if you don't have foil, do you have a silver crayon? You can use a silver crayon. I'm going to put another one. Let's put another one over here. And I'm going to show you up close because it's not perfect. See, look, it doesn't fit it perfect. It's kind of like a puzzle, right? So it's just to give it a little bling, 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 bling. Let's give them a few more scales. I don't know, maybe four, maybe five. You give them as many as you want to. And before we go, I'm gonna do one more counting book since we're talking about numbers. Where else am I gonna put a scale? Let's put a scale back here by his tail. Hey, if you have stickers, you can put stickers on there, right? I don't have any stickers. So I say, think outside the box. Okay, think of how creative you can be. So it could turn into a collage. You can use whatever supplies you have and decorate your rainbow fish. Okay, there's all my scales. It's stuck to my finger. Now I cannot get glue on my library book. They would not be happy. So I gotta wipe off my fingers. All right, so here's Rainbow Fish Counting Book. One crab, you could put a crab in your artwork. Two whales. Three seahorses. Four shells. Okay, I did not do that little blotch there. <laughs> that was somebody else. Five dolphins. Six snails. Seven seals. Eight turtles. Nine starfish. but only one glittering rainbow fish. Aw, yay. I love rainbow fish. I hope you love rainbow fish. I hope you enjoyed this art lesson. You guys, I'm looking forward to creating with you again. So just because this is over, you can make another one. You can make 10 more. These would be great to make cards. You could do a school of fish. Do you know what a school of fish is? Isn't that funny? You guys go to school. A school of fish is a group of fish, right? You could make a school of fish. You could put as many as you want together and give them names and have them all be friends and have them share their scales. Okay, I will see you guys soon. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. If you want to watch more videos, I'm on YouTube, Artist at Heart Paint Party. Thanks, you guys. Bye.